Hey kid, get in here. You doing okay? Of course you are. You're above ground and you're still breathing, aren't you? Plus, best of all, you're about to watch another video from the gaming mobster, Screwface Capone. You know, one of the reasons why I started doing this channel is because I wanted to spotlight lesser known games. You know, give you guys some stuff you never seen before. One thing I particularly like is when a developer isn't afraid to step outside the box when it comes to game design, and that's what we have here. Even if it doesn't always pan out, I've always had a soft spot for games that go against the grain. Another thing I like is games that make you think. Not just about how I'm going to line up the next headshot, but really think about the game's mechanics. One more thing I like is when a developer isn't afraid to step up to the dime. That's what Terranos Engineering, the developers behind today's game, did when they offered me a free Steam key to check out their work. Tyranny is a game that is available right now on Steam in Early Access. You design drones, program their logic, and send them into battle. This is the type of game that won't be for everybody, and the developer will even tell you this much when you go onto their Steam page. But again, if you want something unique, stick around and you might like it. Before we get into that though, if you're new to the channel, I like to cover indie titles, retro games, and cool game related hardware. So if that sounds good to you, join the Mafia by hitting the big red subscribe button. If you want to do me one better, hit that bell icon and you'll be notified as soon as I drop a new video. Tyranny is inspired by the PlayStation 1 game Carnage Heart. I never played it, but it sounds like something I might want to check out. In Tyranny, you apparently play as some sort of activist out to stop the evil Terranos Corporation using their own drone building technology. The storyline doesn't really factor into the game too much. The point of the game is that you design drones, then use a custom programming interface in order to set their logic. You then unleash your creations in the game's single and multiplayer modes. The thing is, you don't have any direct control over your creations, you just hope the logic that you set is going to be suitable enough to do the job. When you first start the game, you don't have much in the way of parts. As you make your way through the levels, you unlock more parts and cosmetics with which to customize your drones. In the single player mode, your goal is to complete the levels as fast as possible and fulfill any optional objectives. These objectives can grant you a better score, along with more parts to customize your drones with. The multiplayer mode is unique. The game's multiplayer is asynchronous, meaning that not everyone has to be online to play the game. You enter the game's flaunt mode, set up your team of drones, and get paired up against random challengers. You can also create and share your own custom levels. Basically, you got a lot to do in the game, even at this early access stage. The big thing here is the coding portion as this determines the behavior of your drones. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it and it's very difficult to understand once you first start the game. There is a tutorial but even then it only scratches the surface of what you can do and how to best prepare your drones. Needless to say this is going to take a lot of trial and error. On the flip side I can see this being one of those games where you stumble around for hours or maybe even days before something clicks and you pick up on the mechanics. Like I said, this game is going to make you think. You're going to need a lot of patience and an open mind to get the most out of it, but it can be very satisfying if and when you do. One thing this game could benefit from is maybe an additional tutorial or even something like an end game encyclopedia to break down how each component works. I can see this game taking off or at the very least having a small cult following. Maybe somebody might come along and make a more comprehensive Steam guide or even a wiki page for it. The game's minimalist art style fits well with the game's theme, and this really puts the focus on the nuts and bolts of the gameplay. Battles are done automatically, and rather play the game in real time, you're actually viewing the results of the battle after the fact. So it uses a video mode, therefore you can rewind, fast forward, and even play around with the camera so you can really analyze how your strategy is working. So like I stated before, Tyranny is one of those games that's going to give you something outside the box and the game won't be for everyone. There's a very steep learning curve so when you first start the game, you're going to have to play around a lot with the mechanics. Still, as somebody who works in IT, the coding aspect hits home for me. So if this sounds like something you'd be interested in, 
you're going to want to try out the demo first. So if you want to buy the game, it's on sale right now for $6.09. It's already cheap at its normal $10, but this is an opportunity to get this game at an even lower price. So if Bleeding Edge graphics aren't that important to you, and you don't mind a challenge, definitely check this game out and support these developers. So if you're looking for some more games that offer something different, but you want something of a more traditional gaming experience, check out Vlad Vavoy Dracula, which is an action platformer that's inspired by old school Sega Genesis games. You take control of Vlad the Impaler, along with several associates as you seek revenge on those who wronged you. If you like that old school level of challenge, this is another game that you'll like. If you want to learn more about it, check out the video that just popped up on your screen. By the way, after I put it out, the developer added in some fixes and some updates, so props on them for listening to their fans and handling criticism. For now, have a great rest of your week, and I'm Audi51000G, y'all.